everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Look what was found. My earbuds were found. I kept the paper on mine. mine these, are, these are from when Jim bought them for me, but I left the paper on so I can tell them from his, because his are sort of like this. But anyways, we, he, Jim found them, and where he found them was, I looked there. I looked there several times. I have a lot of, it was in my um, room that I sit with my crocheting and I had moved everything off the box and there's like a pillow that the kids like to use and that was there too. Well, I had moved everything off that box and inside the box there's some tapestry sheets from the furniture store. It's, it's, it's upholstery is what it is and you can use those to make things and I haven't used them yet. but. Anyways, I had moved everything off that box and looked. And Jim sat in the chair that's next to it and he thought, hmm, I wonder if anybody looked in this box. And he lifted the stuff and here it was. It was just sitting there. And it's like, <sighs> we had looked there, he looked there, I looked there, the kids looked there, we all looked there, and it wasn't there. So I have a feeling that Sally and George were playing tricks again, but thank goodness I found them. And now they go back on the box, and hopefully they stay on the box, because that's where I keep them. I will take them off when I, I put them on my neck, so I won't leave them in this room. So this way they go with me until I get back to that room. I also wanted to mention that Simply Pam, she did the jump rope. She really jumped. She did the actual jumping. I'm skipping because I find that it's a little bit... I'm not as good as she is at the jumping. I do better skipping skipping rope, and it's also better for my inner organs. I'm like 10 years older than her. so Even so, she did extremely well. She did 48 jumps. Had she done two more, she would have done 50. I counted them as she was doing them, and she, she lost count. Somebody else said that she did 40, but no, she did 48. If you were to watch her video, I will put the link in so you can watch Simply Pam. Pamela, you did a really good job. Or Pam, I don't know what she likes to be. I think she likes to be called Pam. I have a tendency to put the real name on my tongue. I might type Pam, but in my head it says the real name. Um, also, Simply Jan. Hi, Jan. She suggested I do a short of Mr. Brown mopping the floor because he likes to mop, or she likes to mop the floor. In fact, I will walk through the room, and she'll poop, and I come back, and I go, oh, you did a mess, and so then we clean it. I think she does it deliberately so that I have to stop and clean because she knows I stop and clean when I see the poop. Or if I come into the room and there's some poop on the floor, I will clean it up before I move on. In fact, that's what I just did before I came in here. I had to clean up a little mess. But it's her bedtime, so she had to go to bed, and I cleaned the mess, and I mopped the floor. Also, the if you're interested in doing the jumping, I've today was 150 jumps today. I've only done 100 so far. I've got 50 more to go, and I will do that when I'm done here. I, did, I could have done it before I came in here, but it makes me out of breath. And then I feel like I can't breathe as deeply as I should. And my heart is a pounding, you know, it's going really fast. Because it does get your heart rate up. That's the whole purpose of jump roping, is to get your heart rate up. It makes your heart stronger. Well, this jumping challenge was started by Change in Chris, which is Christine. And I heard about it from Omad Caroline, which is Caroline. So if you would like to do it, I would email Change in Chris, and she would send you the schedule. Now, today was 150 jumps. I don't know what tomorrow is. I can't. I don't remember. But I know that it has um, Saturday and Sunday are rest days. But you know what? I think I'm going to do a few jumps just because I, I just want to keep in shape. I think that is everything that I wanted to tell you. It's so funny because I have so much on my mind before I come in here. And when I get in this room, I was thinking, oh, darn, I forgot to turn the heat on. And so I'm sitting in this room that's a little chilly. Jim would enjoy this chill. I don't. I actually have a cushion on my chair. See the black cushion? 
this is a heated cushion. <laughs> I have a heated seat. My sister came in today, came over today. Anita came over. Hi, Anita. I say hi to Anita, too, in case she watches. She sometimes watches my videos, but she's a little bit behind right now. But she came over, and she thought it really funny because I have a heated seat and a heater in this room, and she's always hot, and I'm always cold. We're just so opposite. And then she talked about a heating pad that they have on their bed. And Tom is, I guess, that's her husband. He's always cold and she's always hot. And then she mentioned the electric blankets. And I said, I have an electric blanket, but I've never used it. My One of my grandkids wanted to use it one day. And she actually plugged it in. But halfway through the night, I unplugged it because I didn't want her to overheat. And it was she was warm all night. But it, that's my chatter today. I don't know what I'll name this. This is It's all over the place. Maybe it'll be earbuds found or something. I don't know. But I did find the earbuds, which I'm so glad. These are Bluetooth. I wanted to Bluetooth myself to my iPad because when the kids are here, Kyle takes forever to do... He took over an hour and a half to do a page of math. And it was just too long. And I, and I want to... And I would like to be able to listen to a few of the videos while I'm making sure that he's doing his work. And this way I could do it and he wouldn't be hearing it. Otherwise, if I put the video through the air, he would get distracted for sure because he's very distractible. So, have a great night and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.